can you believe President Lincoln will be at the play tonight? Yes, Eleanor. It will be an honor to sit in the same room as him. Hey, isn't that John Booth? I love his acting skills. Yes, it is too bad he is a Confederate. I have no respect for anyone who goes against the President. Hey, wait, you left your cane. What is this? It looks like a riddle. It says... Hmm. The first two words are go and go. Maybe it means go to. I am something you can do at any age, whether you are on a playground, with a board, <coughs> or with a few toys. Perhaps it is play. I have many meanings. You can pay me, pass me, or perhaps I am on a duck. Well, you can pay a fee, a debt, or a bill. And you can pass a bill. It also says something about a duck, perhaps a duck bill. After that comes a big four. Then, I happen 24 times a day. What am I? That must be an hour. That is pretty obvious. Agreed. I have 35 boundaries. I can hold many people at one time. That must be America. After all, America has 35 states and holds all of these people. Good thinking. I'm your mother's brother's child. Your mother's brother is your uncle. And your uncle's child is your cousin. So it's saying go to the playbill for our American cousin. The playbill's right here. John Booth must have solved this, and that's why the riddle and cane were left here. What do we look for now? Hey, look, it's the Confederate flag. What is that doing on the playbill to our American cousin? Look, the riddle also has the Confederate flag on it. Maybe this means this is the next step of the puzzle. Wasn't Booth fiddling with something on top of the playbill? Yes, let's see what this is. Look, two messages have appeared. One says, time to play dress up, and the other says, 1226-1865. Well, there's only one place people play dress up here. I guess we are going to the prop and costume room. <coughs> well, that was easy. The door was not even locked. What do we do now? Um, just look for something with the Confederate flag on it, like the other two clues. Eleanor, look at this strange box. It has the Confederate flag on it. Oh no, we need a coat to open it. Maybe this is when we use the date we noticed on the playbill. Good thinking, but that is eight digits, and this one only has four. Try adding them together. You're right, that equals one, nine, zero, three. Try that. It, it worked. It looks like a note. It says, John Booth, good job on completing these puzzles. Now your mission begins. You must take this gun and assassinate Lincoln. He will be at the play tonight. The ideal time would be when this funny line is stated. Don't know the manners of good society, eh? Well, I guess I know enough to turn you inside out, old gal, you sockdologizing old man trap. This is out of our hands. We need help. Let's go tell President Lincoln's officers what we found. We have something very important to show you. We found some evidence showing that John Booth is claimed to assassinate Lincoln. Excuse me? And what evidence did you find? There's this note in the, a cryptex. It instructs Booth to kill Lincoln at the play tonight. Well, it is a good thing you decided to come for us. I have just the right friend that won't cause panic. Aside from, uh, we have a guest here to speak with you. Oh, must be about Thanksgiving feast preparations. Excuse me. An explanation is due. President Lincoln, it is an honor to be in the same room as you. Agreed. What may I ask are they doing here? This may be hard to believe, but this man, John Booth, attempted to end your life today. Really, sir, we didn't do much. In fact, it was these two ladies who discovered Booth's plan. That's why we were able to grab a quick uh, costume change from the prop room and disguise me. Oh, well, it's a good thing you two were here. I owe you a life's worth of gratitude. 
We're honored to have saved you, sir, but what should we do with Boo? I suggest we throw him in prison for a very, very long time. The rest of his life, perhaps. It does not matter how long you cage me. I may have failed, but there are others, and they will get their revenge. Imagine living without President Lincoln. Our lives would have been a disaster. Yes, and imagine what the future would have been like. Thank you. I will be forever in your debt. I believe it's time to get John James out of here. Yeah, let's get going. You better step carefully, President. Your mistakes will catch up with you eventually. And when they do, you will be in deep regret. Thank you for all you have done, President. Me, it should be I who is thanking you. You are welcome. It was humbling to have saved you. The staff will be avenged. Well, we better get home before we run out of time.